Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students. I hope you are well. Today we will start Unit 5, Lesson 2, Reading. Let's complete the lesson. Open the class book, page 40 and 41. Our future. Listen objectives. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to read the text again and understand the new words definitions. Match the words with definitions. Now, we'll listen to the text again. After that, you can read it by yourself. Then we will match the words with the definitions. Unit 5, page 41. Read. Exercise 2. Read and listen to the text. 50 years on. 1. Sir David King, former scientific advisor to the British government. If we don't reduce carbon emissions, the earth will become warmer, polar ice will melt, and the oceans will rise. People will flock inland from coastal areas, causing overcrowding in many cities, where the population is already too high. Cities like London and New York will disappear under the water. By 2100, Antarctica could be the only continent that is suitable for human life. The rest of the world will be too hot. 2. Francis Collins Geneticist. Fifty years from now, millions of people will live past the age of a hundred and remain healthy. This will happen because we'll be able to study each person's genetic code and find the best way to treat and prevent illnesses in that individual. We're close to finding the mistakes in the genome that cause cancer, so in the future, diseases like this may no longer be life-threatening. In about 50 years' time, the most important question for our society might not be how long can humans live, but how long do we want to live? 3. J. Richard Gott, Physicist During the next 50 years, our planet might suffer a catastrophe. There is a possibility that the Earth could be hit by a comet, which is a big ice ball. Humans could disappear, just like the dinosaurs and hundreds of other species did. The best way to make humans safe from extinction is to set up a self-supporting colony on Mars. Will we be smart enough to do it before money for investment in space exploration runs out? 4. Ellen Heber Katz, Biologist I believe that in the future we will have the technology to cause damaged body parts to grow again. Five years from now we will be able to grow new fingers and a few years after that new limbs. Doctors will soon be able to prescribe drugs that cause broken spinal cords to heal and hearts to regenerate. Within 50 years Renewing an old and malfunctioning body part will be the solution to the health problems of many elderly people. 5. Peter Norvig, Director of Research at Google Today, people all over the world have access to billions of pages of text on the Internet. At the moment, they type a few keywords into a search engine to find information. But 50 years from now, people will simply discuss their needs with their computer. In response, the computer will provide us with a written report of the information we requested instead of just a list of links. At a later date, this report will actually take the form of a simple conversation. 6. Eric Horvitz Principal Researcher at Microsoft Research In 50 years' time, 
computers will be much more intelligent than today. They will help people work, learn, remember, plan, and decide. Computers will help people from different countries to understand each other by translating and interpreting from one language to another. Soon they will be able to reason on their own. In 50 years' time, It will be computers that make important discoveries, not human scientists. 3. J. Richard Gott, Physicist During the next 50 years, our planet might suffer a catastrophe. There is a possibility that the Earth could be hit by a comet, which is a big ice ball. Humans could disappear just like the dinosaurs and hundreds of other species did. The best way to make humans safe from extinction is to set up a self-supporting colony on Mars. Will we be smart enough to do it before money for investment in space exploration runs out? 4. Ellen Heber Katz, Biologist I believe that in the future we will have the technology to cause damaged body parts to grow again. Five years from now, we will be able to grow new fingers, and a few years after that, new limbs. Doctors will soon be able to prescribe drugs that cause broken spinal cords to heal, and hearts to regenerate. Within 50 years, renewing an old and Malfunctioning body part will be the solution to the health problems of many elderly people. 5. Peter Norvig, Director of Research at Google Today, people all over the world have access to billions of pages of text on the Internet. At the moment, they type a few keywords into a search engine to find information. But 50 years from now, people will simply discuss their needs with their computer. In response, the computer will provide us with a written report of the information we requested instead of just a list of links. At a later date, this report will actually take the form of a simple conversation. 6. Eric Horvitz, Principal Researcher at Microsoft Research in 50 years' time, computers will be much more intelligent than today. They will help people work, learn, remember, plan, and decide. Computers will help people from different countries to understand each other by translating and interpreting from one language to another. Soon they will be able to reason on their own. In 50 years' time, it will be computers that make important discoveries, not human scientists. 4. Class book page 41 vocabulary, 50 years on, we need to match the highlighted words in the text with these definitions. Let's start. Number 1. To start something new. Well done. Set up. To think about something in a logical way. Reason. Three. To grow strong again. Regenerate. Four. To give something to someone. To provide. Number five, arms and legs, limbs. Number six, translating spontaneously into another language, interpreting. Number seven, to make something smaller, reduce. Number eight, to use medicine to make someone well again. 
street. A computer program that looks for information. It's number nine. Search engine. Number 10. The problem of having too many people in a place. Overcrowding. 11. A sudden disaster. Catastrophe. 12. Something that isn't working properly. Malfunction. 13. Intelligent. Being smart. 14. To go somewhere in a large number. It's fluck. And last one, number 15. Dangerous and able to kill someone. Life threatening. That's all for today. Goodbye tomorrow again.